Okay, now this is for mixing for non-molting birds. Let's say you fill a cup with these little pellets. You don't have to put half a cup of pellets, don't waste. Let's say for jumbo, for pute, you go about one third around this. How much of the BMT booster you are supposed to put inside here? Now, you can use the McDonald's spoon or what you call this small little tiny spoon. It's about two or three scoops only max and mix it into this. You see this? That's enough for non-molting birds. Okay? For molting birds, you use this spoon. It's a coffee spoon. Okay? For coffee, stir, stir your coffee. So for molting birds, what you do is normally you take one or two teaspoons of it and you mix with pellets but not so thick onto this. I'll teach you, I'll show you. Now, this is super number one. It's about 120 grams of pellets. So when you're working with 100 or 120 grams of pellets, I'll show you how, how much is 100 grams of pellets. Okay, I'm going to pour this inside here. Okay. You, um, my camera is not very sharp, but from what I'm pointing, this is about 120 ml. So you get this kind of measuring cup, 120 grams of pellets equals to about 120 ml of volume. So get this cup, you can buy it anywhere um, like HDB or any shops that sells this kind of cooking measuring cups. Now, for molting birds, let's say you want to, your molting bird will take about one month to molt. Okay, so you prepare this amount of pellets. What you do is, you take the BMT booster, you take about two to three teaspoon full of this, and you mix inside here. Of course, pour this into an airtight container and shake. Okay, to get the powder mixed properly. So every time you want, you just scoop from it. Of course, you keep in an airtight container. You shake, then you give and put on the food, put on the, the food cup for the bird. It's just for molting birds. For non-molting birds, we normally feed by this cup or something smaller. You use this small spoon. One spoon or two spoon is enough and then the BMT booster will work. Now the interesting part is one of my friends who's a, he's a bird hobbyist and what he did for jumbos, he took the BMT booster, he took a little bit of the powder, he peeled the banana. You see banana when we cut, there is a cut side. You peel away the banana skin, there is the normal side. You can apply this powder onto the banana and let the jumbo eat. You can also do that to a pute also, or any birds that eat bananas. You can apply the powder on it thinly. The bird eats, leave it on the hook for about one day, throw away, and then the, the, the powder will work like a bird food like that, but it's in powder form, okay? So it's like a supplement. Um, according to my friend who use it on the jumbo, he told me that the jumbo start playing everything about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So I haven't tried yet because I don't have any jumbo with me anymore. Lone Ranger uh, was adopted by his new owner. So I, I didn't try this on the fruits. The basic thing is you apply on the fruits where the fruits is dry. Don't apply on the wet surface of the fruits or cut surface of the fruits where there's water because this BMT booster is powder, it's meant to be eaten dry, it's not meant to be mixed with water. If you mix in water or something that is wet, it spoils very easily within a day. So I don't advise you on mixing it with water. Okay? So just remember, 100, 100 grams of pellets is about 100 ml. This is 120. Okay, the, the angle of the camera is a bit slant. So you get the idea. 100 grams of pellets approximate 100 ml volume of pellets over here. So that's how you measure. And if you are, you are a bit lazy and you want to prepare for your non-molting birds and you want to prepare in bulk, 
you can do the same just use this kind of spoon or something smaller okay some people they take the quick and easy way they take they use the finger to take a pinch then the powder they put it inside a cup with pellets this is for molting birds also can you can play with the amount now the more you apply this the more thickly you apply and mix with your pellets it will actually trigger the bird to renew its feathers especially for jumbos and putes shamas no shamas you have to rear your shamas until the natural cycle comes around for them to mold naturally you cannot force molting in shamas safely i can use chemicals but i don't want to do that you spoil the bird so shamas for shama lovers and hobbies um, especially uh, those who are worried about the mold and the long tail my advice is rear the shama well until the natural cycle don't jam the bird don't do things that jam the bird now for china trust which is huibi for jumbo and for putes this one fourth mode it actually overloads the body with so much nutrients that the body will mold, drop the feathers and grow a new set of feathers this is actually evolutionary science so for those people out there if you don't know about this i suggest you read more about this and you'll understand more about birds don't assume things that you did not go and find out so i went through a lot of trouble with my partner uh, to study what is what is um, about birds what you call um what you assume and you have to confirm it so birds evolve through millions of years and they are set patterns on their behavior so we are actually taking the bird and putting it in a cage we are actually imposing something that is not natural to the birds anymore so we need to study we need to know as much as we can that doesn't bring down the health of the bird doesn't damage the health of the bird okay i i don't know about you but birds are living things so the better and more well kept for the birds will have a better feedback to us they will reward us better okay so this is about the basics of BMT Booster. If you need me, uh, you need me to answer more questions, you, it's inside the description. You can WhatsApp me, you can call me on my phone, uh, you can email to me, okay? So happy hobby, a lot of adventures. Bring your birds to another level. Okay, this is one of the ways. And none of, there's no steroids, there's no chemicals inside. You can be sure, I got 20 year old Jumbo at this day he's still alive he's still playing well and he's a testimony to a lot of the number one products that we use on him over the years we rare him for 15 years we got him for five years and then we rare him for 15 years to date 4th of february 2021 he's 20 years old his name is rofi and yes my youtube channel rofi is the name of this jumbo red whiskered boo boo and you can see him you need to see his video let me know i'll get the link for you in youtube so you can surf the net and take a look at how healthy he is and all that okay thank you very much for your support i hope this explains many things um, it can be mixed with any, any kind of pellets okay but don't mix it with water don't mix it with anything that's wet